Hey guys, this is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing a Secret Wars tie-in book, talking about the book, which is Giant Size Little Avengers vs. X-Men Marvel. I think I got the title right. It's a pretty big one. Uh, so yeah, this was a book I was, you know, semi-interested in, and then I was like, you know what, I'll pick it up. It looks like fun. Uh, I wasn't, I'm not going to say I was super excited for the book, but it, it just looked like a fun one. I was like, alright, it's $3.99, even though usually the giant size are like $5.99. So I was surprised by that, but obviously very happy to see that price tag. But let's talk about this issue. Uh, so this issue is, it's fun. It's a, it's kind of like a tiny Titans version for Marvel. Um, we get to see that the Avengers and X-Men are going against each other. Uh, first story is that Tony's picking on Magic, destroys her action figures, and, you know, Magic tries to kill Tony because of it. Uh, but then she has to have dinner at her house, which is literally on fire, and uh, she ends up forgiving Tony. So that's the first story. Second story is that the X-Men have a barbecue selling type thing, and also the Avengers do too. They try to go against each other, uh, and that's pretty much the whole story. You see who wins, who actually uh, gets more business uh, from the Avengers slash X-Men trying to buy from them. Uh, and then there's a bit of a cliffhanger that there's some twins that move into town and they have to see who will become friends with them first. Uh, so yeah, this is a really fun issue. I was uh, pleasantly surprised by it. I, I thought it would be kind of wordy, lengthy, because I will say most of the time when Marvel has these type of books that come out, it's like fun for the first five minutes and then just like kind of gets dull and the jokes get old. Uh, but here, the jokes didn't get old. It honestly was a fun ride for both stories. I laughed out loud. Um, Marvel was able to poke fun at itself. Uh, you know, having uh, the Marvel big house of ideas, uh, you do notice that towards the end of the issue, you have the Marvel truck uh, go in, and then there's this big house, so it's obviously Marvel big house of ideas. Uh, so yeah, there's just like little nods there, uh, you know, um, we have Cable and Bishop going against each other, and there, and one, uh, I don't remember which hero said it, but one hero said, uh, you know, isn't it a little dangerous that they have these big guns and they're going against each other? It's like, nah, they just have kind of laser pointers, it's not even ammo anymore, and then they just yell yell at each other, like, I'm from the future, and Bishop's like, I'm from the future too. Uh, so there's some really random fun moments like that throughout the issue. I don't want to spoil all, all the jokes, but uh, I think it's worth picking up. I was pleasantly surprised with this one. It wasn't that much money, maybe $3.99, still a, a big price tag for it, and, you know, maybe it's a little misleading that it's not really giant size, but I'm happy it wasn't, because I think it fit enough jokes where it didn't really get boring. And I will get the next issue. I, I hope this is just a mini-series, because I wouldn't get, you know, know 20 issues of this but uh i think this could be a fun like four issue five issue mini series that I i'm gonna try continue picking up uh so pleasantly surprised a giant size i'm not even gonna say the whole title giant size avx uh and i and i recommend it i give it a solid four stars and uh give it a try if you want a good laugh and if you like the tiny titans from uh from dc this is kind of marvel's um version of the Tiny Titans. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know and Comic Frontline. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there's links for my comic book, Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.